In Brooklyn, an accidental kitchen fire left two people critically injured. Now, this happened early this morning in a mixed-use building in Mapleton that houses apartments and a synagogue. In all, five people were hurt, with three of them having to be pulled to safety out of a third-floor window. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burke live at the scene with more N.J. Yeah, right, Dave. This is 60th Street just off of 19th Avenue. The fire scene is a three story building. The synagogue, Dave, is in the ground floor. Now, five residents were rescued, rushed to the hospital. Worshippers here tell me that two remain hospitalized at this hour, including the rabbi. Worshippers are salvaging what they can, whatever was it burned or soaked. A synagogue on the ground floor two apartments on the second and third floors. Joel Schlesinger lives next door. Every, every neighbor took a few kids and the mother was panicking. We couldn't figure out if the kids are still in the building. The fire at 6.30 this morning nearly claimed the life of their beloved rabbi. He and his immediate family were rescued by firefighters after they were overcome by the choking smoke. We saw the rabbi, his wife, and his, I think his son all dangling out of that, that window out there top window and uh, you know thank God the, the FDNY pull, pulled up and uh, we were able to get, get them out safely. Neighbors say nine children were among the residents sleeping when the fire broke out in a kitchen in the second floor apartment. Lydell Perlstein is a member of the congregation. The Everything was engulfed in flames, smoke and fire, so they couldn't go down. So this was a miracle. So they jumped out, they jumped out the window, they jumped out the window and landed on that ledge. So when the fire department came, the three of them were hanging there. And, you know, thanks to New York City's uh, bravest, they got here on time. They managed to put up the, ch the bucket and they managed to escape. The synagogue is home to a small ultra-Orthodox congregation known as Darkai Chaim Stavnitz, a fixture in the community for more than a decade. The community is is pouring out support for whatever whatever is needed. And we're all praying and hoping that, uh, you know, they'll, they'll have a speedy recovery and they'll all be back for us. A dramatic rescue, great work by the FDNY. Now, fire marshals are telling me that the fire started in a kitchen on the second floor, uh, that the rabbi's daughter was apparently married last night, that the family had leftovers warming in the oven overnight, and that is apparently what sparked this fire. Uh, again, uh, two people remain hospitalized at this hour. I'm told it's the rabbi and his teenage son. Both are expected to recover.